Back in Da Nang now. Came down to the night market for some food tonight. And it's really cute. It's only literally half a, not even half a street really, but they've got some lovely food stalls. Hi. Hello. So there's the, the usual bits. There's the foot massage place. <laughs> Hi. Not right now, thank you. <laughs> 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 Wow, there's a lot of different fish and lobster and all sorts going on here. Toys for the children, more massage, bammy. Barbecue, fruit juices, and that's a bit about it, really. Small, nice, compact. You don't have to run the gauntlet too much. Leaving the night market behind and headed off down one of the side streets. In front of here, there is an outdoor church with pews and everything. I've come to this little restaurant and I'm starting off with the local beer and I've ordered this one and this one and the vegetables have just arrived they look amazing there's not a lot left it was delicious i spent my first two nights at the lighthouse hostel in da nang before moving back to luck hotel This is my new dorm and this is me up here, just doing my laundry. I'm in a dorm room, it's a six berth. And I'm up here. Really comfy beds. And no ladder, it's a nice steps. Outside drying area, toilet, shower. walked a long way along the beach today it's really nice and it's just after four o'clock now and people are coming out there's some doing exercises on the beach over there and people jogging and all sorts but it's a lot cooler it's been up to 46 degrees and today it's dropped down to about 30. i have to say my skin actually feels cool even though it's still hot after the really hot weather we've had over the last few days it's cooled considerably and so much more comfortable and that breeze is lovely pepperoni pizza for dinner tonight and it was 109 dong and the view's pretty good while i'm eating it i love the buildings here they're all covered in plants That is really bizarre. It's literally in the middle of the town in Da Nang. There's like a medieval castle on a cliff. It's really weird. 
and it's right next to the beach. Oh, I'm not really any the wiser, but it looks just like it's a bar restaurant shaped like a medieval town. This is the second room that I'm in, and this is my bed. Just here. It's only a full berth door, and no windows in this one. Okay, after the worst night's sleep ever, <laughs> I changed rooms to 404, and my first bunk last night was down here but the mattress was like an absolute bullet. So I've changed beds, I've changed all the sheets, all the bedding, and I'm now in this one down here, which actually has a really nice soft mattress. So I've now moved over from this one to this one. You can probably see the size of the mattress. That one's really thin, whereas this one's squishy. You know that moment in time when you know you have to cross this road but you're absolutely terrified to do so. I've only just gone and done it. That is where I crossed the road. Don't ask me how but I did it. What the absolute. This traffic is mental. That poor guy trying to cross the road there. I've just ordered one of these. Oh my goodness. And now I've got to cross this. I thought that my troubles couldn't get any worse. Right, let's just cross. Oh. My God! I'm going with you. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> If I'm sure, walk with somebody else. Oh my word, we made it across in one piece. I have absolutely no idea how I am crossing these roads. My stress levels have gone from here to here. Wow. And I thought, because I've been indoors all day working on my videos, I thought, yeah, I'll go for a nice long walk to the other side and go to the night market and I won't get a grab, I'll walk. This is why people don't walk, because it's blooming dangerous. <laughs> oh, I hate the traffic. Okay, so I just crossed the road when the green man was on, but there's still traffic coming. So the green man obviously means nothing. So much for the green cross code. <laughs> so cars and motorbikes just seem to park on the edge of the road and on the pavement. And I really believe that the pavement is made for motorbike parking, not for pedestrians. Wow, look how they've just built around this tree with all the buildings. It looks amazing. Wow, I've made it. I have no idea how I am still alive. I'm glad I walked it and didn't get a taxi. But I will not be walking it back. I will be getting a motorbike grab taxi back. Okay, must remember that the green man doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna stop. Almost just got killed on a pelican crossing for the second time in about half an hour. You would have thought I would have learned by now. I've made it back to the Dragon Bridge where I was trying to get to. I have walked a long way out of my way because I had to keep waiting to be able to cross the roads. <laughs> but now I'm going to try the little bun that I bought. Right, so this is it. It's quite soft. I think it's maybe a bread or something and there's supposed to be egg inside it. Oh, it's really nice. 
It doesn't taste like egg. Oh, I really like this and it was 12,000 dong. I'll put the price up here. My problem is now I want to go to the night market, but that means I've got to cross that road again. I'm going to sit here for a while and decompress and have a beer because I've now found my way to the big night market and I want to have a walk around, but I need to just sit down for a while first. And this is one of the local beers I haven't tried yet. It's all right. <laughs> Ice cream for me, passion fruit flavour, freshly made. <laughs> 